to Randall Cobb. Zeke ran for 53. Dak threw for 405 and four touchdowns. What? That's 405. That is an opening day record for a Dallas passer. Eli's stats were fine. They were cool. We'll focus on 10 in a second, but I want to get to four. All right, so he's entering the last year of his contract. Jared Goff got I don't know his why. dough. Carson yeah, you Wentz paid everybody his. else, but you won't pay Dak. Okay, Explain so that. He, we, listen, we all agree he's going to get paid. Jerry Jones came out and said, "But what? Why is he last? Why, why did Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, why did all these guys get paid, but Dak can't?" Well, you know about negotiations. It will, it will get done. I, I think bigger picture here is he's not going anywhere in Dallas. Will he ever be considered an elite quarterback? What? What is elite? Because I don't know what elite is nowadays. Yes, you do. I, to me, back in the day, elite, no, I don't. Elite used to be winning Super Bowls. That was elite. That's not elite anymore. You throw for 400 yards, well, you're getting your butt kicked. That's why you're throwing for 400 yards. You're throwing the whole during fourth quarter. That's why you're throwing for 400 yards. That's why you're throwing for 5,000 yards a season or 4,000 yards because you're getting your butt kicked during the, every game and you got to make a miraculous comeback in the fourth quarter. Dak Prescott is not that type of guy. He has a grown man behind him. Zeke Elliott. That's why they just paid him the money, because he can carry the burden as well. Dak does not have to carry the burden, but can he deliver? Yes, he can. He proved that today. Can he put up 300? Yes, he can. He's proved that in past years. But today, he had a whole different poise about himself. I, I, we're not going to blame it on the deficiency of the New York Giants. Let's just give Dak some credit to say, you know what, man? This guy's maturing. This guy is really growing. He's picking apart defenses. He's using all his weapons. The guy can play the darn game. We got to give him credit. And every week they hesitate to play him, baby, he's stacking it up. It's going to cost him more. Well, listen. It's going to cost him more. Dion, it's all about wins. You played with Hall of Famers in, in Steve Young and with Troy Aikman. How's it about wins? Because and he's won more than Carson Wentz. He's well, won more than Carson Wentz. Uh, so it can't be about wins. It should be, though. In, he's played since, more. He's shown up for every game. Carson Wentz been hurt. He's probably hurt right now. And Dak still hadn't gotten paid. So it can't be about wins. Isn't it, Jerry Jones your guy? Super you're, Bowl. you're costing him money with this discussion because I just want to tell you that Dak, there's only one quarterback in all football that has more wins than Dak Prescott since he entered the league in 2016. His name's Tom Brady. So I just want to let you know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And I knew that. Um, we have 30 seconds to talk about the other quarterback man. situation. Uh, Eli Manning, 300 yards, looked fine. Their number one pick, Daniel Jones, taken sixth overall, entered the game with less than two minutes to go. At what point does he replace Eli? When there's no playoff contention in hand, you make that move, and you make it quickly and swiftly. But until then, Eli proved that he can still get the job done. Now, the rest of the team, they didn't prove nothing today, especially the defense. They didn't prove a darn thing. They proved that they could get at, give up points at a high volume, at a high rate. Running the ball, throwing the ball, they got to tighten up on all facets. Does Daniel Jones start four games this year, yes or no? That depends. Come on. That depends on the team. Come on. It has nothing to do with Eli. But it has nothing to do with Eli. It has nothing to do with Eli. Eli bold, man. Okay. Eli bold today. It wasn't because of Eli that they lost. I still believe in Eli. Man. I know you do. believe Eli alone. I know you do. We're just getting rolling. Leave Eli alone, man. You know